Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a throw transition between two videos in VSVC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a throw transition between two videos in VSVC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So, this is my first demo video. And this is my second demo video and as you can see right here I have not overlapped my videos which I normally do when I make a transition tutorial rather I've placed them one after the other in the timeline like this so to apply a throw transition first you need to double click on your first video and then go to video effects go to transforms select skew and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the skew effect is the entire duration of my first demo video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds. So decrease the duration of the skew effect to just 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option you need to write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Now place the skew effect right at the end like this. All right. Now look inside the skew settings, which is present inside the properties window. Inside vertical, currently false is selected, so that's fine. Inside skew angles, currently the value is 30 degree. So delete this value, and instead of 30, you need to write 0 semicolon 90, and then press enter on the keyboard. All right. Now next what we are going to do is we are going to add a zoom effect. So go to video effects, go to transforms, select zoom and now click on OK. Decrease the duration of the zoom effect to 500 milliseconds. So go to duration and inside the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter on the keyboard. Now place the zoom effect right at the end like this. Now look inside the zoom settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside levels currently the value is 100% so that's fine. Inside X levels once again the value is 100%. So instead of 100 you need to write 100 semicolon zero and then press enter on the keyboard inside y levels once again the value is 100 so instead of 100 write 100 semicolon zero and then press enter on the keyboard perfect now next what we are going to do is we are going to add a rotate effect so go to video effects go to transforms select rotate and now click on OK. Decrease the duration of the rotate effect to 500 milliseconds. So go to duration and inside the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter on the keyboard. Now place the rotate effect right at the end like this and look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside rotate angles currently the value is 30 degree so delete this value and instead of 30 you need to write 0 semicolon 360 and then press enter on the keyboard perfect and so now if I just quickly play the video for you all right now let's go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on your second demo video and once again, we will add a skew effect. So go to video effects, go to transforms, select skew and now click on OK. Decrease the duration of the skew effect to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. In the second demo video, you need to place the skew effect at the beginning. 
all right so my skew effect is already placed at the beginning so i will not move it now look inside the skew settings inside vertical false is selected so that's fine inside skew angles currently the values are 0 semicolon 90 so what you need to do is you need to delete these two values and instead of 0 semicolon 90 you need to write minus 90 semicolon 0 and then press enter on the keyboard all right now next we are going to add a zoom effect so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and now click on ok decrease the duration of the zoom effect to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00, 0 0.500 and then press enter on the keyboard now look inside the zoom settings inside levels currently the value is 100 percent so that's fine inside x levels currently the values are 100 semicolon 0 so instead of 100 semicolon 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter on the keyboard inside y levels once again the values are 100 semicolon 0 so once again instead of 100 semicolon 0 write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter on the keyboard perfect now next we are going to add a rotate effect so go to video effects go to transforms select rotate and now click on ok decrease the duration of the rotate effect to 500 milliseconds so click on the rotate effect and then go to the duration option inside the duration option you need to write 00, 0 0.500 and then press enter on the keyboard now look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window inside rotate angles currently the values are 0 semicolon 360 so you don't need to make any changes inside the rotate angles option so don't make any changes keep this as it is so we are done with creating our throw transition so if i just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if i play the video for you so watch the transition which is happening when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video perfect let me just play this video for you once again perfect so this is how you can apply a throw transition between two videos in vstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching